Good evening, dear esteemed guests and subscribers. My name is Light Liger, and today I'm gonna be doing a new staking tutorial for a coin called Near. And in this video, we're gonna be exploring three different platforms where you can basically stake your Near tokens on the main net. I'm gonna be leaving all those links down below in the description, alongside with exchanges where you are able to purchase Near tokens. But let's get started. So our first option is going through the actual official Near wallet. And this does require one Near to activate. So you have to send uh, money to an address or alternatively you can use MoonPay uh, to basically pay the fee. I just transferred my Near from Binance and very small sum of this uh, transferred sum will be actually reserved for storage. And this is something you cannot access a remaining uh, near will be available for you to stake or send into other accounts. And the cool thing is that you will be getting an actual name. So I've chosen Ligerwoods.near. So that is my address where people can send donations, for instance, if they so desire. And basically, this also allows you to go through a hardware wallet login through Ledger. And there's also uh, email and phone, you know, verification available. So in case you lose your password, you can uh, secure your seed phrase again through email or phone. So that is a very nice, uh, you know, feature there is a very user friendly, uh, long as your email and phone are not jeopardized. And also there's a two factor authenticator here available. And here we can see basically all our balances, how much is being staked, pending release, available for withdrawal. First, I want to kind of touch upon a bit of the terms for near. So we have talked about a lot of staking coins here, and some of them are kind of restrictive. But a cool thing about um, near is that there's only 12 hours on staking period, and basically we'll be getting those in two epochs, which is around two days. A lot of other staking coins have, you know, when it comes to Polkadot or Kusama, I think it's like 28 days to unstake and get your funds. So a lot of a wait until you can get your funds. But the cool thing about Nier is that it's uh, pretty uh, cool and very fast in that sense to basically stake it out and also unstake it at the same time. Um, but let's get back into the actual interface here. So what we're going to be doing is choosing the staking. Uh, this is going to be the interface we're going to be using here. So uh, you have to lock your near tokens, obviously, and then you can stake them. I mean, it's basically the same thing. So I'm going to be staking my tokens. And then I'm going to be choosing an actual pool, which is going to be basically, you know, uh, staking for me. This is very normal and the fees obviously vary between the service. Some may offer a 0% fee or a 1% fee. But that can also mean that there might be some issues on their service because, you know, running uh, servers and all that type of a node stuff is quite expensive. And it's just not very uh, sustainable to run it on a 1% fee. At least that's what the guidebook basically says on the previous page we just looked at. So I'm going to be just choosing uh, somewhere that is kind of like middle between. I'm going to be going uh, with this. Invest woman, invest in woman, okay. So I'm gonna be going with this and it has a 5% fee, it's also active, so that is very important. So we're gonna be selecting it. And here we can basically see uh, the bending release and you know rewards earned and everything. So we're gonna be choosing stake with validator. And here we're gonna be uh, using the amount that basically we can uh, allocate as of right now. So here you can see that uh, only have this amount basically available for staking. So I one was not able to basically stake the full amount. Uh, I'm going to be just going for testing, putting a half a near here. And then we're going to be clicking submit stake. And here we're going to be seeing once again, that is a 5% fee of the reward. So uh, when they basically get the rewards, I get 95% and the validator basically gets 5%. Clicking confirm. And now we're going to be staking. Obviously, there's going to be some time until we're gonna be getting some staking rewards. So there might be an epoch or two until that's gonna be happening. And now we have successfully staked our tokens here on the platform. So very, very easy process. We can now return to the dashboard and see how much we have staked. And here we can issue the unstaking period as well in case we so wish to. You don't have to actually unstake absolutely everything on your wallet if you don't want to. 
But that's how easy basically it is to uh, stake your near tokens on the platform. You can also see some of the tokens that are here available. But let's jump into another platform here, what we have here. So uh, we have Dokia, and basically this is also one of the validators uh, that we saw on the list. They also offer on staking on a lot of other platforms here, which we have talked about in the past. Obviously, we have staking tutorials already on Polkadot and Solana and Cosmos on the channel, hoping to do all of them eventually, but we're going to be choosing near. And here we can see some of the statistics here on the comic rates, how many validators there are available and how much delegations have been done so far. And how many near you do you have? You're going to be putting like a one here, delegate now. And here you can see um, the amount of delegators available here and, you know, different um, delegations. What are their commissions? So there's a bit of a more information here, kind of like in the pa on the other interface we just looked at. And basically, you're going to be choosing here, delegate to thing. And basically, here you can choose how you're going to be logging in. So you can also use the near wallet we just used a minute ago. Also, to log into the Dokia service, you can also use your ledger here, monomic phrase, and private key. So the private key is a very important feature here because in case near is supported on another multi coin wallet, um, and usually those don't have necessary login systems. So basically, um, I think in Trust Wallet has also near. So I can, you know, put the monomic seed phrase from Trust Wallet into here and log in through that way into the actual platform. So that is very, very neat. And private keys obviously also coming out in the future. Um, but that's how easy it is. Actually, let's go back and go into one near. So I'm going to be quickly going through the same service and showing you how does it look like. So I'm going to be logging it with the near uh, wallet. And there will be a you know confirmation here requesting and they're going to be clicking allo and now we're going to be getting into logging into their web client and basically now we can choose any pool and i think we just kind of went okay we're signed in now next and here you would be basically choosing the amount which you would be delegating um here, here on the platform so if i would choose like one uh next sign the transaction pretty much the similar mirror process what you just actually saw available to transfer reserved for fees so there's going to be a fee obviously when you're going to be sending stuff so you have to have 0 0.35 near uh, for these transactions on the platform and now it's going to be transferring it in and now we have basically dedicated money into two different delegates that is pretty normal some delegates might offer you uh you know some type of DeFi tokens or something like that this is completely normal and it's, it's not also very different that there are multiple platforms that allow, I mean, multiple blockchains allow you to stake to multiple people. And that might be a way to basically uh, alleviate risk. So um, let's see if we can refresh in here and see, okay, now we see there's two different uh, people we have delegated to. So in case there are some, you know, technical problems with them, um, you it's good to have your like stake basically spread out a bit. And it just furthers the decentralization, obviously. So I really recommend it. But uh, just a reminder that always do some research who you're going to be staking to. There are always, as I said, always, there are always validators who are going to be doing different things with the money that they're getting. Some will be building dApps and you definitely want that. People are going to be bro building stuff on the blockchain. That is important. And our last option is actually Moonlet. We have featured it in. Uh, another staken video on the platform and I have it open here up on my emulator and here on the moonlet by the way you can also stake Solana and Zilliqa as well and basically it's a very simple process once you have deposited uh, near into this account um, you can just go here and basically then uh, stake now and it gives you a similar type of an interface where you're going to be seeing uh, different validators and uh, they have their own uh, basically a staking pool as well and they have some type of a lottery system, at least for the other blockchains by staking. If you stake to the Moonlet, there might be a lottery thing and you want win like extra thing. But you have to look into that. I think that is only for Zilliqa. And here you can find other delegates and their commissions. And once you go through that, you click next and then you put out the sum they're going to be staking. So it's a very similar process to the ones that we have done in two previous ones. And that's how easy it is basically to uh, stake some near. I'm hoping to um, do more videos about it. So in case you love Nier and would want me to do more Nier videos, 
You know my address, so drop a tip or two, send me some meme coins, NFTs, if they are supported already on this blockchain. Um, and uh, we will be looking into that. But it's a definitely a bit of an altcoin gem right now. It's hasn't necessarily uh, jumped out uh, to the, you know, like skyrocketed yet, like some other these uh, new alternatives have. And it does seem a very promising blockchain and I'm hoping to look more into it in the future. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can find on the sidebar some of my other staking tutorials as well. See you guys soon on the next video.